Right, so firstly, let's talk about Xiaomi's brand new Mi Air charge technology, which seems pretty insane. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna break down some of the key elements of this new technology. It's a charging base. It looks pretty large, and it can offer up to five watts remote charging. And the way it works is it's a system of 144 antennas and they transfer energy in a form of in the form of extremely narrow millimeter wave beams. Now it can support multiple devices. You can also still have devices charging if you're moving about and also when something is in the way which seems very, very interesting. So we've had this hmm. dream of true wireless charging for some time. We have wireless chargers. I'm sure everybody does. I have so many across my house and you know, they, they, they still need that physical contact. So, you know, some argue that it's not truly wireless because you still need to have that physical connection for the charge to go through. But we've kind of seen lots of concepts of this you know true wireless technology but it looks like xiaomi has finally cracked it have they though this is the thing so they've mm -hmm. showed this technology off but they've not actually gone into any details about when or if this will ever be available so it seems very much at you know concept stage it seems like they're yeah. showing off their r and D. I mean it seems like they do have something that's actually working and they can show off but whether or not that's ever going to be available to consumers that's a big question mark I mean yeah it, it's it definitely is interesting um, with the way the technology is set up uh, I th a couple of things that are that kind of come to mind is number one it's millimeter wave uh, is what they're using uh, but number two it says without anything in the way and you know what we've been told about how millimeter wave works is if my hand's in the way nothing is <laughs> nothing is going to go exactly. through so uh then also again there will be undoubtedly health concerns you know just oh, just yeah. the idea of <laughs> of power flowing through the air as opposed to flowing through you know uh, cables or a line or something mm -hmm. um, so it's going to take a while before we see it uh, it might it might come out and it's cool to see stuff like this though in general which means that uh, the idea is you once you walk home you open your door your phone's charging you know that's that's the general idea yeah. you know in, in that sense and then you don't have to think about you know if you placed your phone on by the coffee table, you're watching a movie or TV show, and then you have to run out. You have to go like, oh, I didn't charge my phone. It's, it's no, already it's charged. Charging. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, if you're going to bed, for instance, and you, you know, maybe misplace your phone on your wireless charger or whatever, that's not going to be a problem because it's wirelessly charging. If you're gaming, it's wirelessly charging. Now, there's a few things that I kind of want to talk about here. You, you didn't mention the health concerns, but... It seems like, so from what we've seen from Xiaomi, the way it works is it actually, I mean, it's not just giving out lots of beams, it's you have to have a device that's compatible. So uh, from my notes here, it says, uh, the receiving device will have to have a receiving array of 14 antennas. So this is, that's the first aspect, that not only will you need to have this very big uh, charging unit, but you're also gonna need a device that has this compatibility, which is definitely not going to be mainstream. So it's not like... How many antennas charging. again? 14? 14. 14 antennas. Now, they, they are pretty small, but they're going to have to be embedded in whatever device that is. Now, this device doesn't necessarily have to only be your smartphone. They are talking about lots of smart home appliances, speakers, etc. That could also be wirelessly charged in this way. So that's the first thing. So you're going to need a specific device that can do it. Now... Xiaomi haven't specified exactly what the range is, but they've said several meters. So we're kind of thinking it's room distance, right? Mm -hmm. And the way it sort of works from what we've seen in the demos, well, from the uh, concept videos, is that it kind of detects that receiving device and it beams over this millimeter wave um, signal, which then transfers the power, right? So I'm thinking Bluetooth LE as well. So it's at least just for that quick connection to say, hey, I'm here, uh, send yeah. me power type of thing. Potentially. Uh, I mean, so it's there and then it kind of finds that line and then it starts beaming the power. And if you're moving around, it kind of, you know, um, 
changes the signal uh, to that direction. Now you mentioned health concerns, so um, mm-hmm. you know I'm sure people who are the conspiracy theorists who absolutely hate 5G right now, they're going to be like, burn it, burn it now, because <laughs> uh, this is using millimeter wave technology as well, right? So, so that that that's that's the first thing. I mean, it's I mean I'm sure they've done lots of tests and research behind it, but I think that's something that a lot of people will be worried about because, you know, when you have a wireless charger, you place it on the charger, I mean, it's it's contained, right? Now this is potentially going to go, be going through objects, potentially passing through people. <laughs> it raises lots of questions and a lot of people are gonna be concerned. And I think even if this was to be mainstream at some point, I think the adoption, obviously, there's, there's gonna be lots of concern around that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's not, to me, it's not, even I myself, it's just this concern of passing power through the air, especially, mm. you know, in, in, in a distributed format. It's not like a point-to-point where I go, okay, it's cool that I have a speaker here and my power is there, but it's like a line of sight and I can keep it in that corner. You know, this is supposed to work with me throughout the house. So, I, I like I said, mm. those concerns would be there, like you said, passing through people or passing through objects is another thing um then again it could be all safe which is fine um mm. but i think it's it's just has to go through a lot of rigorous testing first of all before yes. and before it gets it gets out yeah and f- uh, right now i mean they've, they've said five watts you can charge multiple devices at five watts but five watts is the base charging that we've seen for many many years um, the old iPhone brick is, is 5 watts. Obviously, we're used to much faster charging, even wireless charging. We're looking at around 15 watts. So that's another thing that the charging rates uh, at, the, at the expense of the convenience that you're going to have, it is going to be pretty slow. And the other thing as well is, is efficiency, I think, because you know we know that having wired charging is much more efficient than wireless charging because yeah. you know just the way the technology is. Now, how, I mean, when it comes to efficiency, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be way low uh, down the scale of efficiency compared to traditional wired or even Qi wireless charging. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be highly inefficient. Let's put it that way. Um, we are not at the level of Star Trek technology yet, but I do like <laughs> I, lo- I do like the effort. I do like the idea of that power transfer that is wireless. Uh, I think, to me, what this means is what I like about this technology and I would like to see is being able to beam energy from one spot to another. So, you know, you always hear the sci-fi concepts or, you know, even some just, you know, science concepts of, you know, capturing a solar energy from the moon and then how do you transfer it back, right? If you could actually beam energy, then you can definitely beam it to the planet. So uh, you can also use it as a weapon, by the way. Just saying. Now, now, now we're going f- way in the future, even past expanse, because we're talking about uh, a Dyson sphere, basically. So we're talking about um, harnessing a, a lot more energy from the sun. Uh, right now, any energy that comes to the Earth obviously has to go through the atmosphere and stuff. Whereas if we have solar panels in space, floating solar panels, we'll be able to harness a lot more energy. How do we transfer that energy? Well, we'll speak to Xiaomi. Hey, hey, ideas. Ja- exactly. <laughs> Xiaomi's already beaming. Charging, Xiaomi's so. already leading the way. I mean, uh, I just want to say that, you know, hats off to Xiaomi. They do lots of innovation and we love seeing innovation in the market. Yes, this is kind of like concept stage. Again, there is question marks about whether this will be available or not. Uh, Xiaomi has done lots of, you know, concept devices and we've seen lots of things come from Xiaomi which haven't necessarily made it to the market. It's just kind of showing off what they can do and they will be doing in the future. So maybe in, I don't know, five years time, we'll be seeing this technology advance and we'll be seeing it in more places. But at this stage, it's just nice to see the innovation. Yeah, uh, I do, do agree. But this is also the first step to teleportation. Hey, I mean, come on. I, it's, it's 2021. We still don't have hoverboards. Come on. Like, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's not good. We need to be moving technology at a faster sp- pace. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks. And I'll see you next time.